Will Mark Rober be able to figure out my glitter bomb puzzle is the burning question that will be answered in this video. Also, will my glitter bomb puzzle actually even work the way it's supposed to? For a deeper understanding of what I'm talking about, check out video one in this series. But for now, here is a 30 second recap. Mark Rober is a frustratingly cool person and a hotshot YouTuber who has been running around glitter bombing people. And I, Thea Ulrich, a random girl in LA, have just been wondering, who glitter bombs the glitter bomber? I'm going to, in case that wasn't clear. That's like why we're here. As it turns out, anything below 111% is not really something I do. I don't really mean to be this way, but I am. So this is what we ended up with. Five puzzles, cohesive gameplay, Raspberry Pi, pneumatics. The thing has its own Wi-Fi. You privileged little. It's time for you to learn what gift he will be receiving. That is, aside from getting to pick glitter out of his ears for the next three months. Ask me how I know. Mark has been selling t-shirts that feature the CAD drawing of his glitter bomb. Since Mark's glitter bomb is a sleek, NASA engineer approved design, and my glitter bomb is the handmade Joker version of a warehouse dwelling art major, I figured I should honor that. Basically what I'm saying is that I am the blind contour drawing to Mark's sleek CAD diagram. You know, these need to line up precisely, so it's really all about precision. Label your drawings, you know, for the engineers. They need to know what's going on. <laughs> I was so inspired by Mark's glitter bomb shirt that I figured that I had to make a glitter bomb shirt of my own. And I'm gonna be brutally honest with you, it's possible that this is the best part of this puzzle. Since I went full joker on this puzzle for him, I actually couldn't send it through the mail, so it's time for a road trip. Here are some highlights from the road trip to give you some comedic context for the day. The time is 4 a.m. The amount of sleep is two hours. I have a crate the size of a refrigerator in the back of my friend's truck, a six hour drive, and a broken AC unit. This was a white knuckle journey through 110 degree heat and sweetly smelling farmland. I get to the warehouse, casually unload, and set up the glitter bomb for Mark. Mark has a beautiful, never before used studio that for some reason, he let me set up my glitter bomb in. Amazing. So now that we've gotten this absurd machine across miles of desert into a brand new warehouse, let's sit back, dig in, and see how our friend Mark fares. First, Mark got birthed through this door, and he gets his first peek at the glitter bomb. Really? <laughs> what the heck is this? Can I like I mean, if you dare. This is incredible. I've never had someone make me a custom puzzle before, so <laughs> this should be very interesting. I like this type of thing. I'm not necessarily good at them, but I, I enjoy them. They're a challenge. Let's do it. All right, so am I allowed to like pre-look at this? Uh, I don't know, I kind of think you just need to jump right in. Okay, I will jump right in, Pia. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get right to it. All right, well, I think I start here where it says, hey Mark, let's get started. All right, let's do this. You've got 15 minutes, good luck. 15 minutes, oh my goodness, the pressure's on. Psychologically damaged. <laughs> Gravity makes it come down. I wonder if it's magnetic. How can I get that out? These stupid ball bearings come down. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna use these glasses. This is straight up a guy. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Don't worry, Mark. I didn't make four versions of that centripetal puzzle to ensure that it worked perfectly. Please, go ahead. Pry it open with $5 sunglasses. Great, 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 great. Off to a good start. Oh, here we go. Okay. Point mark. Box ticket. Okay. I think it goes here. Clue. 
immediately notice the UV paint on top of the puzzle. But first, I'm gonna pull out these gears. Because I feel like maybe this would go here. Doesn't look right. Must go here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Pull out this. This is like an escape room on a turntable, and I love escape rooms. Okay. Shake well. Oh, cool. I bet this is, this looks like Pharaoh. Piece of Pharaoh's material. Okay. I'm not gonna get sidetracked, but that's pretty cool. And now he just put the viewfinder on top of the puzzle, but he doesn't seem to have noticed anything. All right, X. Y, Z, X, what is this? X? I did a video about how to win escape rooms. I need to remember all the tips because I feel like they look white. All right, so he immediately saw the UV paint and he put the viewfinder on top of the puzzle, but he didn't notice either of those clues and still kept wandering around the puzzle, so... Point, Thea. So there's some... These light up, and this looks actually... Ah, clever. Clever girl. We've got the, uh, so they match up here somehow. This was also given. This is some kind of ferro fluid. I've seen these, like an oil, maybe. That's cool. Okay. So if I line this up on here just right, just shake it better. That's dope. We got a seven. While making this puzzle, I inlay rare earth magnets into the top of the puzzle. These magnets reveal the numbers as the ferrous material in that viewfinder is drawn towards them. Wait, what was, what was this? Okay, so this is Y. So Y equals seven. Now, whoa. If you set it right here, it makes a three. That's so cool. <laughs> okay, so this is Z. The Z equals nine. X, Y, Z. I mean, that's gotta be three, seven, nine. I'm gonna type this in and see. Nice try, Mark, but too easy. What? Um, okay, let me think. 379, that's what people did linearly. I'm just gonna try uh, the other way. 973. Right now, Mark is making every logical leap I thought he would, and he's only needing a prompt one time before changing his tactic, so he's kind of acing this side. Nice try, Mark. Swipe your ID card to reset the number pad. But. I already anticipated every direction his mind could go during this solve, and I pre-programmed in different responses for each to guide him accordingly. Wow, this really works. Okay, fine, I'll give you a clue. I would look a little bit closer at that ID card. Okay, I gotta be some mad. <laughs> I'm gonna call this one a tie. And here is a peek at that ID card. Thank you for the clue. Past Thea. <laughs> Thank you for the clue, disembodied voice Thea. I don't know that I would have figured that out. Okay. Okay, 816 over X, which is 3. Here, Mark flexes his PEMDAS skills and glides through the equation solve. Point Mark. Divided by Plus 46 equals 5, 8, 1. I'm looking at your face to get any clues. And you ain't getting one. Okay, here we go. 
Five, eight, one. <laughs> wow, new door open. <laughs> so now, I made progress here. This one was here, yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is crushing the gear solve. Okay. And he picked up on the overall gameplay of collecting a bunch of different gears immediately. Oh, I get it. So we're adding all the gears, and then I'll be able to crank this and deactivate it before the 15 minutes is up. Ah, uh, what do we got? What do we got? Where are we? Oh, wow. This looks nasty. Caution, ha, huh, ha. Huh. All right, there's three cords here. Like three and a half millimeter jacks, X, Y, Z. What the heck? So there's a marble up here that is gonna come down and push that. That must trigger it. And he's just, okay, so I'm like connecting. I feel like there should be a clue as to how these are connect. I'm gonna use my light and make sure there's nothing else that's gonna give me clues about X, Y, Z. You can put a rover on Mars, but you will glide right past a caution hot clue? I don't know, Mark. I hope you like glitter. Alright. Oh, I know what to do. It's a caution hot. I got fire in here. Huh? On the right track? Whoa. Really clever. Okay. Number three. Uh, oh shoot, what was the code? Okay. X is three. So I got my X one. Although, I doesn't really know the difference between these cables. I feel like it would just, these are all just three and a half millimeter cables. Oh, it knows. If it does, I'm very impressed. And you damn well should be. Y is seven. So the Y will just be here. This feels super treacherous, by the way. I feel like I'm just a little ball in action. Okay. As the creator of the glitter bomb, I'm terrified at this moment. And just out of curiosity, would you be more terrified if you knew that by inserting that cable, you were going to be triggering live electrical current running through that wire? I feel like I should put on safety glasses for this. <laughs> Whoa, the wires. Whoa, that's cool. I trained this particular piece of wire to remember a spring shape, and when heated up to a specific temperature, it returns to that spring shape. Wait, how did that happen? What was changing? Okay, so something bombed. I feel like maybe another door is open. Okay. Time's ticking. I gotta, I gotta deactivate it before it fires glitter at me. It's too smooth. I'm about to put on a bird ball. Nah, I'm just that good. What is this extra one for? Aha. It's like, oh, it's a hex. I see, it's like a thread in there. Aha. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to deactivate. Oh, this is terrifying. So, one thing I've noticed as we've been watching this together is that he keeps saying, this is terrifying, or, you know, I kind of get the feeling he, like, doesn't trust me. What do you think? I feel like this will turn the scissor away. Congrats, Mark, you did it! I hope you enjoy your gift. The door on the top of the puzzle is now unlocked. Go, Go check, check it out! out. I should also add, 
Well, it seems as though you've bested me this time. I do have one last question for you. Are you wearing your safety glasses right now? Because I should probably mention, I'm an opportunist. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, not yet. The big boom, is that what you're calling it? Or is this about to like fully explode? Is this, is this another clue? First, we tried on our new looks. <laughs> Theo, well done. Like honestly, even like this, you know, you kind of gave hints that this is a gear go. And it's like for the first one. And so once I, oh, the gears go here, then I knew, oh, the other's most front, let's go here, right? Mark and I talked about the puzzle, his experience, and all of the craziness of making an integrated system that is this complex. I, man, the amount of, like, I know there was so much trial and error. That's, like, what people don't appreciate with design, because they think, like, oh, you just come up with it. But, like, every single one of this, you had, like, four versions of everything. Right? Pretty much, pretty much. How? We'll go with four. We'll go with four. <laughs> We don't want people to think I'm too yeah. crazy. And he made peace with his new sparkly lair. So no matter what, whether I, I solved it or I didn't, I was getting the glitter treatment. 